How is it going, Vaqueros? And welcome back to the channel. I feel like it's been a while since I've talked to you guys. I've been very busy doing IRL stuff. So I've been kind of busy, haven't really had a chance to make a video, but season five came out and I wanna talk about that. And I wanna talk about shotguns as usual because I wanna talk about whether or not they're actually in a good spot of balancing right now. If you've been paying attention, the patch notes didn't really state any changes for the shotguns. And of course, I've been looking for some sort of stealth changes. And while there's one or two of them, there's nothing really drastic that I found thus far, but I'm still gonna keep looking. So that kind of begs the question, are they just in a good spot right now where they don't really need anything else changed to them? So I'm going to talk about what's good, I'm going to talk about what needs to change, and all that good stuff. So let's just go ahead and dive into it. I guess the big question is, are they in a good spot? And there's basically a yes and no answer there. Yes, I do think largely they're in a good spot, but there are some things that I would really like to change. First of all, the good. The Bryson 800 and the Bryson 890 are, I think, really perfectly balanced. They're super high risk, high reward, very unforgiving. If you miss a shot, you're pretty much dead. They're really fun to use, but again, they're just so unforgiving giving you don't see a lot of people using them despite how good they can be in the right hands if you got the movement for it and the finesse that they kind of take to use so i think the pump actions overall are in a pretty great spot both buckshot and dragon's breath now the kv broadside and the mx guardian i know a lot of people hate those things because they're spammy i think that they're weaker than ever but they're still okay they still have some drive to use them which is really that they're easy to use and for the kv broadside it's got a ton of ammo and you can just spray and pray and it's really effective and of course dragon's breath is just obnoxious and it throws people off so that's pretty nice too but like i said even though they're weaker than ever i think they're in a totally fine spot i'm okay with them being where they're at the expedite finally found its place it's got a great amazing time to kill up close it's literally like 400 milliseconds or something ridiculous and then past that it's still decent but not as good as like the pumps so it finally has its place in the sort of shotgun meta and that's really cool i really enjoy using it a lot after the buff with its 200 damage i really do enjoy it and i think it's also in a great spot now on to what needs buffs well you might mention the first thing i didn't mention is the Lockwood 300. This thing is just in a weird spot. The big thing about it is that mechanic where hip firing does less damage and aim down sights. And because of that, you end up being at three meters away from someone. And if you hip fire with two shots, even to the head, they're not going to die. It will not two shot kill anybody at that range. If you're hip firing, you have to be aiming down sights completely. And that really just throws me and a lot of people away from using this gun, which some people probably enjoy. But in my opinion, I think this needs to just be removed. This mechanic needs to to be removed for this gun. I do like the mechanic of having different hip fire versus aim down sights values. That's really cool. I'd love to see it implemented on a different shotgun, like a spammy one, make it more skillful if you want to call it that. But on this particular one that's already kind of balanced by it only having two shots, I don't think it needs to be on this one in particular. Now, Dragon's Breath is easily the best way to run this gun, and it's super, super strong and super great. I love using it, especially in solos and duos. It's just a, such a great setup, but I hate having to use just Dragon's Breath. Kind of annoying, but still. Now, another thing I want to change for this particular shotgun is that baby barrel the sawed off barrel you can use it is just downright awful and pathetic it changes your damage profile like it did in warzone 1 with the 725 you're basically capped at three pallets aim down sights or hit fire it doesn't really matter so it's consistent in that sense but it cuts all of your ranges across the board so you're literally only two shotting out to about what it's like one and a half meters it's something so bad and so tiny it's awful so i would say for this barrel you could just give it less overall effective range but increase that max damage range just like in warzone 1 with the 725 so you can two tap out to like four or five meters or so really well really consistently but past that it's just awful i really like that way it was working in warzone 1 i really enjoyed the sawed off 725 and i really would like to see it come back in warzone 2. next i want to talk about something on my list which is slugs slugs are in such a weird spot right now they're okay on the mx guardian i haven't made a video on that that's still to come and they're amazing on the kv broadside but on the pump actions and the lock with 300 they definitely need some love like i really think that they need a, just a straight up damage buff to their multipliers so right now you, you basically can't two shot someone with slugs point blank at chest level and it basically has a two shot range less than buckshot effectively because buckshot's like what for a bryson 800 like out to seven meters or something with certain attachments slugs you're just not getting that at chest level it's impossible unless you hit two headshots so to me that's just kind of asinine because it's just so hard to use compared to buckshot that you should be rewarded and have a two shot that's at least further especially at chest 
DPS level. I think Chest does 130 for both the Lockwood 300 and the Brysons, so it takes three chest shots. I would love to see them bump up the stomach and chest multipliers. You can keep the head where they're at, but the stomach and the chest, they really do need to go because you're trading the power of Buckshot for no real reason, and it just makes your life harder in pretty much every way. Now, I'll make a separate video probably on how it should be buffed in a little bit more specific ways, but I think up close in its max damage range, it should be two-shotting stomach and up. Then the first damage drop-off, it should two-shot chest and up, and then past that, maybe just head and up or something like that. That, in my opinion, would make them a lot more viable. Now, for the luck with 300, it would be cool to have a one-shot headshot. I'm not going to lie, but unless snipers and marksman rifles can, I don't think that it should. But this thing should be two-shotting chest level at least way further than the Brysons, in my opinion, and it should be much more rewarding because it only has two shots, and it needs some incentive to use, in my opinion. I know not every ammo type or attachment has to be super good, but slugs, I think, offer such a unique and fun playstyle that would be hard to abuse because of the difficulty they have when you use them. I don't think I've ever gotten killed by the combat shotgun in Warzone 1 with slugs, despite it being a one-shot kill with headshots because people gravitated towards the car and the Swiss and all those marksman rides. But other than those changes with buffs to slugs on the Bryson 800 and the Lockwood 300 and the changes to the Lockwood, I really think shotguns are in a fantastic place. Now, of course, I'm all for shaking up the metas and kind of switching things and maybe nerfing one thing or buffing another just to kind of switch it up. So that'd be really cool too. But I think largely they did a great job with balancing the shotguns and they're finally, finally starting to find their niche in a really great way, in my opinion, without being too overbearing. And of course, we're going to have new shotguns coming with Modern Warfare 3. So I'm super excited about that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Fun. I hope they bring back some more pumps and all that good stuff. But now I want to know down below in the comments, what do you guys think about the current balancing state of shotguns? Do you think they still need some love? I see a lot of people talk about the Brysons not being very good. I completely disagree, but let me know down below in the comments what you think about the shotguns in general. Do you think they need buffs across the board? Do you think some need some nerfs? And with all that being said, I will see you in the next video.